Okay, um, number four is keep your word. If you make a mistake, own it. If you are unable to keep a commitment, say so. It may be disappointing to those in the short term, but keeping your word will go a long way to people with maintaining their trust and to for you for living an honest life. Yes, so this is one I struggle with. Is it? <laughs> well, I struggle with it in, 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 a, in a kind of a small way. So for example, like, uh, you know, if I make mistakes, I own it. Yeah. If, I, uh, if I make a commitment, uh, if, I'm, if, I, if I'm unable to make a commitment, I don't say so. Right. So sometimes I'll say, yeah, I'll be able to have that by the end of the week. Next thing I know, the end of the week has come. I haven't been able to, uh, like, I, so something inside me just doesn't reach out and say, sorry, I didn't get that done. Yeah. And then next week comes, and then I'm finally getting to it. And this, this is the kind of thing that's, that's, that's my faux pas. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, I have a hard time sticking to that kind of stuff. And it's just, like, it's frustrating because it keeps happening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Um. I think I probably struggle with that too, but it's more, um, no, maybe not. I think keeping my word, I probably, out of those four, is probably my strongest one. I don't know. I think it's easy for myself to admit a mistake that I made. Like if I made a mistake, even if it wasn't me and I was just like a small part of it, I'll yeah. take full blame. I don't like, yeah. cause I learn from stuff like that. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, I might be, I might be just being really hard on myself. I think because you are. <laughs> generally speaking, when I, when I enter into any kind, any time I have some kind of agreement, I keep to my word. Yeah. Like I, I just there's if I have an agreement, there's like people know that I'm going to do my part, yeah. right? I'm not going to shirk on that. If there's right. there's and this is why a lot of people like to do business it take with you me. Take a couple extra days. Yeah. Well. But you get it done. Yeah. So a lot, and this is why a lot of people like to do business with me because, like, if, if there's some kind of deal and there there has to be a transaction, they can count on me to yes. like follow through with the transaction. Yep. Truthfully, in business, that's rare. <laughs> like, yeah. There's it's surprising how many times where you enter into an agreement and then the other person is just like either shirking on making payment or they're they're dancing around and then suddenly they're trying to change terms and all this kind of garbage. Mm -hmm. I've dealt with that in the past with some people. But the truth is, is that the people who really succeed in, in terms of business are the ones that actually keep their word, right. right? And because if, like, your word is your bond, is an old saying, right? Yeah. And, if you can, and if the people are talking to you and trying to work with you, if they can't count on the things you're saying being the way it's going to be, yeah. then they just, they can't count on you. Like, right. they just, they, they, they know you're not being honest, yeah. right? And that's such a huge deal when it comes to, to business dealings, mm -hmm. like, in, in the world and, like, and once you, and the further you go, you have to be able to be upfront about all that kind of stuff. Because like I said, as soon as you, as soon as like people think that like, if you say one thing and then you do another, or you dance around where you, th where you thought there was an agreement, yeah, it gets frustrating. And the truth is, is I deal with that kind of stuff all the time with, with, with like trying to work out deals with different kinds of people all the time. And where, you know, I think, okay, we're, we're settled. Yeah. And then suddenly they change it. And I was yeah. like, you know, I really want to do a deal, but you're not being honest with me. You right. know, like I get frustrated with that, right? Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I think that keeping your word is, is, a, is, a, is a great way to gain a lot of yes. social points, mm -hmm. you know, like because how many times do you want to be able to say, you know what, like when I tell so-and-so to get something done and they say they're going to do it, I don't even have to think about it because I know they're yes. going to do it. Yeah. And to you, that is just like the end-all be-all of the greatest thing to experience. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And there's a lot of value in that. Yeah. There's a huge value. I mean, like as far as building bricks go, and as far as like the things you should be doing in your life to thrive. Yeah. This is the one thing that can just like make you skyrocket in what, wherever you are. Just keeping your word. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't even matter where you are. If you are just working at McDonald's on the on the line, you know, if yeah. you're that guy that's just like whatever, like whatever you're, they'd ask you to do, they know they'll get it done. Yeah. Guess how quickly you'll move up that line. Yeah. Oh you know? yeah. 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 Because I can vouch for that. Yeah, and it doesn't matter where you insert yourself in life, if you can keep your word mm -hmm. and just be honest about it all, you're gonna go places. Yeah, I completely agree with that.